right, kill the team, and welcome to episode 44 of Yarns with Beef and Matt, brought to you by Alice Katie and Frog Grips. I'm Beef. I'm Matt. Joining us today, it's the ancient rivalry. It's the Kiwi versus the Aussie. It's Marnie Sykes' boyfriend and Maddie Sturt's partner. <laughs> it's the overdog and the king. It's Jay Crouch and Bailey Martin. How are we, lads? Let's go. Great. Good. Great. What an intro. All this because we couldn't get Ricky on. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Well, That's thick from well, the beginning. <laughs> the tone has been set. Oh, yeah. how are we, lads? It's been a couple of weeks since we last seen you. Yeah. How are you guys? You go first. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll let Bailey take this one for once. Um, no, I'm good. I'm good. We're back. We're back in the thick of training again. Um, starting to feel normal and uh, yeah, surviving the cold down here in Melbourne. But um, two weeks and uh, we're out of here. How good? Crazy. It's so quick, eh? <laughs> it is quick, man. Um, how are you getting on, Bailey? Um, I'm good. I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> I got sick like last week, so I've had a bit of time off, but I'm kind of getting slowly back into what I was doing before. So mm. it's not, it hasn't been too bad, but a little bit annoying. Yeah. This is the um, awkward part because normally right here, I'd ask about your guys' like upbringing, <laughs> but we've just had you guys on before, so <laughs> over to you, Beef. Oh, well, yeah. um... Fuck, I suppose we've, we've just come off the back of Torian. Um, I'm going to throw it at Jay. There was, uh, obviously, there was a lot of expectation, a lot of hype, a lot of people uh, waiting for you to bring it back, coming in with the three-peat. But um, that didn't quite uh, that didn't quite happen for you, bro. How how was Torian yeah. for you? Um, no, Torian was pretty good. Like, I was, I was fairly happy with uh, the way I performed, I suppose. Like, um, yeah, like I sort of, I was, wasn't really harping on on getting the three feet like it wasn't the end of the world for me like obviously um the big picture is the games uh so if i can get through torian uh healthy and happy with my performance and that was a win for me mm. um so yeah obviously i was i was disappointed that i couldn't win because uh, there's more money or all that good stuff so mm-hmm. um but yeah like i think just the i think i was sort of like um maybe let's say proud of like the battle that us three boys could have and like put on for the fans like hopefully that was good to watch so i thought that was pretty cool and a win in itself and then yeah also along with uh being happy with everything i did um each workout i suppose yeah and and to you bailey like does this sort of solidify because i know last time we had you on you were going on about like you didn't just want to be a one-time like sort of flash in the pan thing but now it's like you've solidified yeah. you you are in that top three you are in that conversation and fucking nearly yeah well I, I knew that i knew that jay and ricky were gonna have their own battle i just didn't want to be the guy that was just in third just secured his spot mm. sort of thing because i knew like pete i knew pete was going to be good as well like it could have been that jay and ricky and then it could have just been me and pete just fighting it out sort mm. of thing I, I didn't want it to be like that like i didn't want it to be like last year was just like uh like a one-off like i did well at the games i didn't want to come back and then jay and ricky are just in their own league and it was just like a fluke like i wanted to prove like i still i'm still getting better sort of thing mm. i don't know so, so I, just wanted, you... I just wanted to compete with them i didn't want to fucking be getting smoked for you like coming off the games um you did quite a few off-season competitions eh um yeah well uh how was the tip because like for you saying you didn't want to just come back and get smoked how do you sort of reset and 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 go forward from the games obviously yeah you did all those off season those comps but yeah how do how do you Um, come back to what you did this year well i like coming back into training i didn't feel like a hundred like a hundred percent i didn't feel good at all like i didn't i didn't want to um train at all i didn't feel very healthy Mm-hmm. And I knew I I knew I could make the games. I just didn't know if my body was gonna let me um do it to be honest. So I had to like kind of change up what I was doing and just make sure I was healthy and just moving well. And that's kind of what I was focusing on. And it definitely helped because leading into Torian, I felt like super healthy, like body wise, like just my mobility and 
just little niggles I've had over the like years and stuff were just not really there anymore. So I felt like way more confident going in because I was comparing myself to the year before, which I had like little things, nothing that stopped me, but just like stop you from training, like doing certain things in training, right? Nothing was really stopping me from doing anything in training, which was, was pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. And to you, Jay, like you've been here so many times. What is this year's games? How is it different to to, to the past years? Hmm. Um, I'd say like just, yeah, a full, full year on different programs, switching it up from, from what I've done years prior. Um, so I have trust in that. Um, and yeah, it just just fun man like it's not it's not too different with like my mentality and stuff like obviously i've, I've been getting better results and stuff so with that comes like a, a bit more let's say pressure or expectation so um yeah if i can just sort of not really think about that go into the same mindset as i had last year i think we'll be where we want to be and to speak on what both of you guys have said, you definitely were the big three. It was a it was a show for the crowd. It was fucking epic to watch, knowing that any one of you could win this workout at any point. And um, yeah, I think we saw a couple comebacks that we uh, we got behind. And um, but I do recall Jay, you were saying a bit of a workout too was a bit of a stamp and a bit of an apology to the to the crowd for um, letting Ricky kick your ass so hard in the first one. Yeah, I mean, like, it, like me and Bailey spoke about it too. Like, we were like all after the first workout. Like, is this how it's gonna be all weekend? Like, <laughs> he's back, you know. Um. So yeah, like I, I knew that second workout was gonna be good for me, but yeah, it was also gonna, it was also like sort of that switch in the weekend. Like, all right, it's it's not just gonna be uh Ricky all weekend. It's gonna be you know a good battle with with the boys. So, um, yeah, apologize to the crowd because. Like, yeah, we want, we want it to be a show and exciting and that's, that's sort of what people remember. So, um, yeah, cool. said sorry for that. Cause we got, we got smoked and, um, <laughs> then we turned it around. Uh, even I think Bailey that night, uh, got a win under his belt. So yeah, it was on from there. That was, yeah. that was pretty cool to watch. Um, just any one of you can answer this, but Ricky sort of going to the games is always expected to do like really well, like top five. The fact that at Tory and you two can push him that hard does that give you guys a massive boost going to the games thinking like, fuck, we could, we could actually take, take the whole thing. Either uh, one of you. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't give you a massive boost because the games is completely different, but you just, you don't put him on a pedestal. You kind of just go, he's just another athlete. He has weaknesses. He's not perfect. So that can play into factor at the games mm. where if you execute, your workouts well like you'll be up just as high up the leaderboard as he wants to be but you never know what can happen in competition so yeah i, I think it's not like a, it's not like a huge thing hmm. for me but i think it's a like a good bit of like a confidence booster for us i think maybe yeah, yeah i would say it's just like a good measuring stick this time of year and again not putting any of the boys on a pedestal anything can happen at the games we're all fit enough to uh to beat each other so um yeah i think like uh i think ricky said in one of his videos like obviously there'd be more separation like if it was a games field and like vice versa like um yeah so it can it can all like shake up and uh it's all fun and games fair enough yeah very good um bailey taking home uh another silver for the mantelpiece was that um you happy with that or were you were you gunning for first on that final day uh I, to be honest, like I, I was like, try, like wanting to beat Ricky, but I know it would have had to take a few risks, which could have put me in third. So I kind of like, I, I to be honest, I just want to say to Jay, <laughs> so, like, <laughs> that's sort of that's how I felt like in the, the snatch workout because I knew, um, you know, after that handstand workout, I was in a spot where, yeah, all right, we can win um it could it's still like anyone's game between us three but yeah through and during that snatch workout i knew like i did it completely different to how i did in training like in training i just like would just take like i was taking it slow and just making sure no misses and i would be around like that 7 38 sort of eight minute mark um 
and then sort of once it kicked off with the with the boys I was just sort of trying to I sort of got sucked in and I was I was glad that I did like just trying to stay with Bailey the whole time like Ricky was that little little bit ahead maybe one or two reps um sort of for the most part but I was like I, it was a good thing because I was I was I thought if I didn't take the chance of trying to stay with Bailey then that was my chance of of first of, of finishing first like mm. taken away sort of then and there um so I was glad I took the risk, but it didn't pay off. So I was sort of out, sort of out of uh, that that first spot uh, when the last workout come around. But um, again, anything could happen. But it was sort of how the boys were playing all weekend. It was going to be really tough. Um, I just want to bring it back in that first event. What happened? Like, because Ricky, fucking <laughs> what like, like I mean, like you guys have obviously practiced that workout. Well, and you had well, your paces, we- but. Well, we probably would have like saw it from a, a different like perspective at the start because I think I was in front of Rick, Ricky or like on that bend and Bailey was behind. So mm. for me, when I took off, yeah, I thought he was taking the piss with how hard he ran at the start. Like he was sprinting, <laughs> yeah. and then sort of as we went out, I was like, okay, this he's like he's not stuffing around. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, I'll try to sprint with him, and and it like pushed. It, it was sort of good at the start because it was like, all right, we're, we're out in front of everyone straight away. So we'll just like cement that almost. Mm. Um, I'll let you speak on the first the first round, Bailey. Yeah, the first round, yeah, when he sent it, I thought he was taking the piss as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, all right, okay, I'm going to like get up the front. I think he, I thought he was just trying to get up the front and then just like settle into a pace, but he kind of carried on. That was his pace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he's a freak at running. Like he, he's a freak. Like if that if that workout was at the games, he probably would have won. Yeah. So oh. there's like, yeah. yeah. And I think we were running like almost a kilometer each time, apparently, on people's garments that I was hearing. Yeah, yeah. it was definitely yeah. longer. I found, and uh, there was an incline as well. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, another funny thing, like the first, like I think he was saying to my brother. At, like before the workout started is like because he my brother was like in lane 20 so the last one yeah so he was running out first and um he was like ricky was saying to him like i'm, I'm coming for you or whatever and then <laughs> sort of as we got before the turnaround he like got to toby and just like slapped him on the ass and, he's like, <laughs> <"Got you." laughs> and toby, toby was like oh shit and he like turned around <laughs> saw me like 30 meters behind he's like oh that's all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah but I... yeah that was that was crazy like as bailey said he's a, he's a good runner so mm. um yeah. but i thought i was a good runner too but yeah we'll, you, uh, you guys could have we'll pushed have... any harder like if you wanted to <laughs> yeah maybe i don't know <laughs> it's just it's just more it's like how did you need a risk like we knew we were going to get like either first or like second or third like we could have tried to stay with ricky and then blown our whole workout like i probably would have blown my whole workout if i tried to stay with him for like two three rounds Mm. but yeah i think i was just should have have tried to stay with me (laughs) (laughs) hey i I was trying Uh, (laughs) i was trying um i just want to because like we've all been in class workouts where like you come in from the run and then someone in front of you is going out for their next round run. So Jay, yeah. how did that feel? Like, cause that happened to you. Like, does do you guys feel the same? We're like, fuck, that motherfucker's already heading out, <laughs> and I'm just to the bar now. Yeah, yeah. And I think it being a five round workout, like I was like, oh, you know, um, you have flat like flashbacks from his first workout at uh, Torrey in like 2022 when he like sent, sent it and and like sort of cooked it. Mm. Um, so I mean. I wasn't thinking about that in the moment, but I was like, it's a five round workout. Like for anyone going out that hard, like you got to hold it. Right. Mm. So you can make, definitely make moves over the 20 odd minutes. So, um, yeah, it was annoying, but it's cool. <laughs> it's all good. Like Bailey said, like it got to a point where like third round in, you're like, all right, I'm not definitely not going to catch him now. I just needed to manage my gap between, uh, Bailey. So I can get, you know, the 97 points or whatever. And, uh, yeah, go into the next day. Yeah, yeah. And just, yeah. just, just letting you guys know, I did manage that gap to Bailey and, and <laughs> did him in the first workout. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, Ricky, Ricky was yelling at us when he was running faster. <laughs> yeah. He was telling us to come get him. <laughs> <laughs> um, just talk on that because you three, like, like on the floor, it's like fucking do or die mode. Like I'm here for a job, but as soon as the time gap's done or or the buzz is done, fuck you guys, just fuck around. Like all three of you, like it's really cool to watch. How is that like friendship off the off the competition floor or rivalry? It's, I think it's good. It's fun. Like like on the competition floor, it's all serious. Mm. Like you do what you need to do to win or whatever, but off it's like you just shoot shit um like it's not we don't get too caught up in it i don't think so like it's because it's tory and like the next the biggest thing is the games so i think we all know like like it's not it doesn't really matter where everyone finishes as long as we get our ticket and go to the games it's all sweet but so yeah, when you but get I think to like... america will you guys hate yeah. each other <laughs> who knows like, nah, we've, we've done like even at rogue and stuff like rogue's pretty serious but like we're always just yeah like we we stayed together at rogue all, all that sort of stuff like cool. yeah so it's all just like it's all it's much more enjoyable just like not being all like serious and like a stiff you know back backstage or like warming up and stuff like if we can just like yeah talk shit and have fun like it, it's yeah. it makes the whole weekend that that much more fun you know so and there are like there are guys <laughs> over in the states that like take it all all serious in between and stuff yeah. and that's fine it's a whole different approach but like for us we uh we keep it the same and and yeah and go out and do our thing when we need to in the um in the warm-up area especially like if you're looking at people's first taurians do you do you see them sort of taking that approach and like being real serious? Do, do you go up and say anything or do you, yeah, what do you do there? Uh, no. <laughs> Leave them. <laughs> Every, yeah. Everyone on the like first tour and yeah, they look, I, I, like how many, how many times have I been in like three or four times? Mm. But like, I remember my first tour and I was like super, like super nervous. I didn't know. What was it Royce bubbing up. you out? Yeah. Didn't Royce no, give you some that shit? That was my, that was my second, that was my second tour <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah you definitely you definitely always see it and that's because like guys care always not having that experience and stuff but like i suppose for me and bailey like being on like some bigger stages and and that doesn't make it uh uh too hectic and and again that that approach that we have of just like yeah having fun um talking shit is uh is easy mm. yeah, that's good that's yeah. wicked that's wicked um quickly what's what's maddie having for breakfast we can hear we can hear a bowl um oh she was probably cooking like scrambled eggs or something and between that and the dogs walking around bloody hell keep it down mads yeah <laughs> um uh that's that's a lot on you guys individually but i just want to know have you guys figured out who's the fittest brothers at the pro oh i think bailey did a quick <laughs> 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 so go on bailey you got to tell them, mate um well we went on the leaderboard and we calculated the points and i think we won by four points <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, i think yeah. i let the team down too actually because i think the points gap between like toby and bailey was like pretty like bigger or or smaller than the points gap between me and bailey oh no <laughs> yeah. I think well because did you did you beat um Pete over the line like was it you and Pete were like lunging at the same time in the end there? Oh yeah yeah. yeah. I Probably. think it was if you got yeah it was it was close. <laughs> <laughs> Riley 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 and Toby were like neck and neck in their heat and I was watching yeah. it and I was like what the hell and then Riley dropped the dumbbells and I was like. <laughs> 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 uh, Toby's still giving Toby's still giving me shit for that workout like I think because he was like four seconds behind me or something and he's like he's like wants to run it back reckons he could beat me <laughs> <laughs> you gotta live stream that that'll be good good watching yeah. um oh so the martin brothers got up how good um i'm gonna try something here i don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna give it a crack it might just be the real reason why uh the martin brothers got up there are you guys seeing this can you guys see this yeah okay <laughs> It, yeah, because I don't know if the Crouches have this kind of chemistry, eh? No. Are you slipping into him, Oscar? What the fuck, Oscar? Oh! 
Do you have the gold pants? <laughs> yeah, they're in my wardrobe at home. <laughs> Do you wear them for money, bro? Go look at go look at my Instagram. I used to make like weird open videos, and oh. I wear the gold suit with a horse mask. Oh my wow. god! Can you and Toby do something like that, please? <laughs> Toby probably would do something like that. I'd have, oh. I'd have to run it by me first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Oh. That's cool. That's I didn't, magic. He showed me that when I got here, and I was like, "He's like, oh, I should show this to Bailey." I didn't actually think you were gonna do that. <laughs> That's so funny. I I do recall your I think it whether it was open videos or not. It was just like you like being a DJ or something. Really dumb shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're like, I was trying to go that. viral. That was the whole reason. I just wanted to go on the CrossFit Games page. <laughs> I, never, I never did. He's I still never trying, did. team. Yeah, he's still trying to get on it. Out. New video out next week. Watch for it. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Shit yarns coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, we should get a trophy made up so every year at Tory and the two brothers combine points. I know. And yeah, then uh, actually, it'll be good. Mm. And then any other brothers can uh enter if they want. Ooh, How yeah. many brothers are there? There's fucking Ricky well, and Ben, but one's on the team. That can't count. I think we, we were probably our only brothers that were in, like, individual. Mm. Yeah. I would say. I can't think of any other ones. No. Nah. That's pretty sick, though, because last year I remember Bailey telling us that he would always just go out and try to beat Riley's time. Mm. So it's fun now that he goes out and tries to beat your time. <laughs> 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 yeah no it's cool it's a cool race and it's cool to have luck because uh, we're was Ra riley in the um our heat for the cleaner joke <laughs> no it wasn't no, no. Totally well, was. I'll, I'll say it was cool to have toby in, in the same heat i like haven't yeah. been like had that before but, but you you might have hey Bailey. i had i had riley um was in the first heat in 2022 you know king arthur Oh, was he? Yeah, he was in our heat then. Fuck. Yeah. No way to hide there, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was that. That was pretty sick. Because I rem I like I finished and I went over and like cheered him on at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Riley's got oh, a pretty, pretty funny cool. story on that clean and jerk one because he got a no rep. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we got it on the vlog. It should be coming out soon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this year. Hmm. Yeah. This year. Yeah, on that yeah. event one. He got a no yeah. rep for bouncing the bar or something, but he was pretty. He was pretty upset. Pretty hey? upset about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, sorry to Bailey and Riley's mum. Yes. Yeah. When we were um, talking to you guys, had the camera out. Um, I could see her there, but I didn't say hello or introduce her or anything. Fuck! I felt really rude afterwards. I'm really sorry about that. No, that's that's me as well. I probably should have said, "Hey, this is my mum," but I'm I'm terrible with that stuff. Like I'm let's see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we'll blame you. Like, this is my mom, but I'm like, mm. no, you're like, you're like too busy massaging your pecs in front of. Oh us. yeah, he starts massaging his abs and everything. I was like, bro, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the recovery. Um, but what does the what do you guys get up to after touring the week after? You take a bit of time off, chill. Yeah, I mean. You do like it's a, it's a very chill week. Like I, I sort of did like sort of started to move again, sort of like Thursday, Friday. Um, but it's not hectic. Sort of in and out of the gym within like a an hour, um, which is nice. And then uh, yeah, back into it sort of like that that week after. Hmm. Yeah, I just did did some stuff that I wouldn't normally do while I train. Like like me and Mans would go out for like lunch and dinners and stuff and just do like random stuff like that that we don't normally get to do because we're always like training and worried about i don't know time and stuff yeah so just to, like little fun things How and was... i think more oh sorry you go sorry i think like more more like after the games and stuff's when you really just sort of like chill and can can go do 
could do other things, I suppose, like go on a holiday and stuff, go around CrossFit. Mm. Um, but yeah, like the transition between like Torian and the games is sort of just, you want to just get back into it. Mm. Just on that quickly. Um, I know Bailey and Marnie got to do it last year, but this year, Jay, you and Mads get to go to the games together, both as competitors. How's, how's the energy at home? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, it's it's very similar to like years prior, I would say, because Maddie would just jump into like all my games training anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's it's awesome though. Like, uh, she's obviously pumped on it. Um, it's pretty crazy. Like four years later to to go and qualify again. Like, I feel like if that was me, I don't know if I would have like held in there that long. You know, so mm. that's pretty crazy. Um. But yeah, it's cool. Like I think once we get over to to Nashville in two weeks, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot more fun because, like I said, it's pretty cold here. It's sort of like yeah. hard to uh, hard to I suppose go to the gym. But um, but yeah, no, it's gonna be awesome. And I think like uh, it's cool that we can both be there again because in 2020, when all that COVID stuff happened, Maddie qualified through the Open, so that would have been like we would have both been going then. But then they changed it, switched it up to like only people that uh you know won a sanctional yeah. qualified so anyway but four years later we're uh, we're back and now uh, we're both gone yeah cracked it did you have you guys figured out who's going to look after you while you're over there i know i haven't actually like, i mean toby yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, toby's not coming i'd say me probably andreas will be uh we'll have to be, have to replace her <laughs> he's the man um Bailey, are you and Marnie going to be training separately over there? Like, will you go to Underdogs to do a camp um, or anything? Yeah, I'm going to Vegas. She's coming with me for the first week while I'm there, mm. and then she'll carry on to um Cookville yeah. with the Mayhem Crew. Yeah, but so I'll be there for like um I think two weeks by myself. But should oh, but should be miss her? too bad. Yeah, I'll miss her. Yeah. That's gonna be tough, especially before the games. I don't know how you're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Overdogs. Overdog. Now nah, I'll, I'll cuddle up with uh, Ricky. And Ricky. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, two do, weeks on your own in Vegas. How good? Do those uh do those underdogs pick on you over there? And proven, mate. A uh, proven. Uh, uh, Bailey and Ricky picking on you, teaming up. Uh, oh, I mean, probably between <laughs> all the other shit, shit we talk. But uh, nah, Bailey usually finds his way on over and likes to hang out with me through a comp anyway. So <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> hang out with Jay. He like he walk, like walks into the warm up area, just like each day slowly moves his bag a little bit closer. So, you know? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Am I switching lockers yeah, with did. me? Bro, you know it's true. <laughs> what crops are you using today? <laughs> yeah, by the, by the end, end of the weekend, he's yeah, pretty much uh, right next to me and we're, we're stretching together. All that, yeah. all that good stuff. Sharing chalk. Hands. Gives me a couple of cuddles here and there. You got this, Jay. Back something in his drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... This is going to be your first underdogs camp. Is that right? Um, yeah. First time going to Vegas to train mm. with everyone, which should be fun. Yeah. That's been. Yeah. You're going over pretty early too, hey? I'm going over on the 11th. So I think I'm a week after you. I'm, it's, I think it's like three weeks from now. Yeah, sick. How far is <laughs> Vegas dead. from Texas? Is that ages? It's, uh, it's a couple of miles. A couple, <laughs> just a few. Just right there. I don't know. Just, okay. It's, say, nah, Vegas is close to LA, and oh, so, yeah, Texas okay, is, I know. Yeah, Texas is like in the middle way. Is oh, it? it's in the America. It's like a, but. it's like it's a, two, it's a two-hour flight for me from Nashville. So, I think it'd probably be like maybe four for Bailey, something like that. Probably be like around like in the America region, yeah. Yeah, I'd say that yeah. in, in America. Yeah, yeah. Like the American part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. North your America. Age is away. Your age is away. You got probably like a five hour. Nah, four, I reckon. We'll probably rock run to... um. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> Underdogs go hard. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky will rock run to Texas. 
<laughs> <laughs> oh no, so wait, so it goes Dallas is sort of like almost in between Nashville and Los and Vegas. No. Right. Might be too bad. Probably be three for you actually, if I had to yeah. guess. Yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> you might you might manage, I reckon. <laughs> Fuck I'll be dialed when I'm giving you that gift. Anyway, oh, fucking all all jokes aside, yeah. um, congratulations to the both of you guys. What now needs to change leading into games prep? Hmm. I'd say you just end you just end up doing like you end up doing sort of all stuff you would normally see at the games over the years, you know, like obviously we don't know what it's going to be. So you just start putting in, you know, yokes, all, all that sort of like odd objects, strongman stuff that you usually see. Um, yeah. It, it changes up a fair bit. Like for me, like volume is pretty similar, but probably does ramp up that little bit more. Um, yeah. It's full-time job. So mm. not too much. Mm. Have you guys got a pick? Cause that leveled a few athletes last year. Yeah, uh, we have uh, like a what is it a flip sled? We had like one made at um Victorian, hmm. so we've got one here. But you guys had one in Nashville. Eh? Yeah, they had like those. Yeah, I think in the states have those flip sleds, like they're they're proper ones, so you can like load it up to whatever you want it to be. I don't know if you can get them here. Probably not. Um, I don't have one at home, but I'm sure they'll have something in Nashville. Or maybe a pig. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure Tia will have something over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's got the inside scoop. Um, how about you, Bailey? How's the training looking leading to the games? It's, yeah, the same. Just like, just game stuff and a bit more volume and some swimming in case. In case. Oh, yeah, some swimming. Some is there, swimming. Is there oh, water oh. near Texas? Nah. No, nah, but there's just all, you know, that talk of like, I think there's like some hectic swimming pool close that they could do like some cool stuff. Imagine like a wave like, pool. Yeah. Like you fucking like it, but they put it on like tsunami mode and you're like, that'd be uh, good. That would be cool. <laughs> I just think, I want to, I don't know, like, I don't know how much we're going to be going outside with all this heat talk, I guess. I want them to bring back the OG, like hammering in pegs in the ground. Let's oh, see yeah. I can go back. <laughs> what the... Yeah, I think, like, I reckon they're going to, like, I think Dave was saying some stuff, like, they're going to uh, do sort of program, like, how it used to be, like, almost like you got to just survive and be happy to finish the weekend, you know? So, mm. we'll see. Were you more sore this year after touring than last year, you reckon? Mm, I don't know. My legs, would, legs were more sore because it was just all legs. Mm. Yeah. I would say yes. It was a lot more fun to watch. It was <laughs> yeah. way that more fun to watch. That shit was Mate, that's what happens when you uh, go and try to break that uh, world record for the front spot workout, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. True. Got him too. You got that one, eh? <laughs> yeah. I think for the for maybe like 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for the week. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was with your old man and Toby and them, and like they watch you drop the bar and just walk over. And they're like, the fuck are you doing? Uh, Go. Yeah. <laughs> I know, because I actually didn't even know what the world record time for that was. I was just like cruising at my own pace. What was your <laughs> time? I was hearing him. I was hearing him talk about it, like that it was close. I, hmm. I don't know, maybe like eleven twenty or something like that. We watched um, Brandon Swan do it outside. He entered that beat the elite thing. Oh, uh, um, yeah, yeah. Fuck, he was smoking it, eh? Oh, yeah. But he wasn't 11 or anything like that. Yeah, he, he would have got like fifth or something, eh? Yeah, he would have really? he would have top 10 the yeah. event inside. I was like, holy <laughs> fuck. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> fuck, is he that's like, that is one of those like workouts, though. It's like pretty OG, like CrossFit. It's cool. Mm. Just have the strong legs and you'll do pretty well. Yeah, you guys, you guys want like to see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we could say. Yeah, you guys want to see that be the elite, but that was pretty cool. And yeah, to watch Swanee yeah. just I, cruise through. I it. think I saw some clips of it, and I didn't know how he went, but it, yeah, he looked like he was going pretty well. Mm. We well, had like, I don't know, average dudes coming through and like throwing down, and I felt sorry for the two that were in with him. I was like, you can't, 
be elite <laughs> and in the beat the elite. I was like, yeah. come on, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, that's like when that when I saw that like challenge come out, I was like, oh, I feel like anyone that would be like able to beat anyone would be in the comp, you know. Yeah. It's sort of like a bit bit tough. <laughs> I feel like they needed to be like, oh, get like within, I don't know, like a minute or something. <laughs> yeah, that is. Um, imagine you just come out. Just to do it, you know, in between events. Yeah, I'll I'll give it a crack. Walk, walk out after I beat the event record and try beat it again. Try yeah. Run. <laughs> oh, that'd have been sick. But um, that was actually, we missed Bailey's big win, that that third workout. We were um, we we're keeping an eye on the heat. Yeah, we had to go outside and do some, we did some content with Swanee, but then we got Ooh. stopped outside watching and we heard the crowd going off. We are like, oh, yeah, cool. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we, right. we got inside for the break dances. So oh, we we saw a pretty good show still. Like it wasn't you, but the break dancing was good. Mm. It was um it was pretty good. Do you guys catch any of that? Any of the dancing in the Polynesians? Uh just on the screen, I think maybe when we were like cooling down. Mm. It's pretty hectic, crazy. apparently. See that guy with the um the fake abs on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was good. They did that like max booty shakes for time. And like he steps up and holy fuck. Uh, that man is that twerk. what they're saying? Like Corian keeps saying it's got like three million views or something. I think it's the yeah. most viewed content from the weekend, yeah. That they got, yeah. <laughs> That'd be right. That'd be right. Eh? Oh, it was real funny because they set it up like a workout and he's they're like synchro nanos and shit, like in a team. It was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> oh, you should have got out there, Bailey, with your gold pants on. <laughs> <laughs> what we got five uh, too many views too many views <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll go viral that'll definitely go viral maybe CrossFit would share that one for you <laughs> probably oh dear probably <laughs> um have we got any expectations heading into Fort Worth this year yep we keep them quiet <laughs> oh sweet I'll catch you guys later <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks, yeah, thanks yeah. for that no worries <laughs> <laughs> what about uh what about the new venue we um obviously you haven't seen it yet, no one has, but fucking Texas switching it up from Madison finally, what do we reckon? I think it's sick. I think it's sick as because I know that they um hold the like top eight um tennis competition there, like top eight in the world. No. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Tennis players play there like I don't know when they do it, but I think that's pretty cool. How we get to like compete in the same arena that they compete in. Are you gonna play tennis? Yeah. No, I'm just a fan. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Pickleball My fan. Yeah. I'm sort of like a Djokovic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like Jay Federer. I think it's always like cool to be um, a part of like something that's, I suppose, like a first, like first year. Mm. Like it's always like a good memory, um, and yeah, cool to experience like the first time. So um yeah i think it'll be cool i think it's going to be a lot different to what we've seen like years prior i think just like all this outside talk being hot so i think most of the workouts probably going to be inside and i think that's good for me maybe we'll just be seeing like sort of that og crossfit stuff um expectation wise not really like uh always going with the same thing like i was sort of saying before just fun and then uh yeah, the, that uh, good result will probably be there by the end of the weekend if you don't if you don't like harp on on each each event each result. Um, this guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's what I'll share about that. But I think it's going to be sick, man. It's exciting, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot easier to get there, traveling travel wise, all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. How yeah, good. Um, when was your first games, Jay? My first games, like individual, was 2020, but uh, team was 2017. So you, mm, that wasn't Carson, was it? So, no, I just mm, missed just out on Carson. Carson. Yeah. So I was first first year at Madison, and now the first year at Fort. Last Earth. year at Madison, last year at Fort. Yeah, and that's pretty decent. Look, look at this guy. <laughs> when was yeah. your first, Bailey? <laughs> 2017. Yeah, I was gonna say, as a team, you guys were both there. Yeah, we were. Yeah, how good. That's when I was, yeah, I was, I was hanging out with Crouchy there as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rivalry yeah, continues. That, that, that bag was just getting closer. Each <laughs> <time>. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> you guys should start your own all like right. um your own program and you can train together all year yeah <laughs> all to be called mm. no nah, we're actually gonna um we're thinking about taking over the podcast scene <laughs> oh, we, we heard yes. your proposition. Oh, we forgot to know you guys. <laughs> oh. so this is our podcast now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talks with Bay and Jay. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> that's, that's good. Is that it Jay Lee cool. now? Is it? Oh, Jay Lee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> we just log into our Spotify and the password's been changed and the thumbnails. <laughs> I'm gonna get those shirts made up. Fucking Jaylee. Some Jaylee. Yarns with Jaylee. Jaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Yarns with Jaylee. <laughs> oh. uh, Speaking of shirts, um, how'd you get on the post office the other day, Bailey? You're freaking out. Well done. Because <laughs> uh, I needed your number and your email and i was needed to get your attention because you weren't replying so i just Oi, beef met someone <laughs> it was like message after message i was like fucking uh, hell yeah, baby. i always do that um yeah because bailey's sending us some gear jay yeah he's for a this, good dude this giveaway he's a fucking good dude like yeah, that he's got it like that eh legend yeah, yeah. I, I sent him i sent him my golden barbell <laughs> <laughs> Did you get one of Mate, those? You gotta, you gotta actually get one of those to send one. <laughs> no, I've got spray paint in one goal. <laughs> I come with the pants. <laughs> I uh, when I was there, I would like in my head, I was like, "Fuck, ask him to like do a clean on it," but I sacked it. I didn't. But like, fuck, I, I wanted to really have a go on it. What's that? His golden bar, but what do you think I was talking about? What do you think I was talking about? He won't let you touch it. Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. You're not allowed to touch it. She was still wrapped up in the plastic, mate. We could have. Nah. We could have. We got to hang it up. Yeah. Next time I'm there, I want to have a go on it, please. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> please, sir. Do you still sleep with it, Jay? You told me you still you sleep with it. Yeah. No, I only did that the first week, but I thought it was oh, yeah. time to... Uh, <laughs> Maddie's on the couch. I'm gonna make room for yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> the bed, yeah. Um, we'll probably get them on for their own one. But how are other partners feeling? How's um Marnie getting on with team training and that? Good. She is enjoying team training. It's good. It's a good answer. It's <laughs> a really good answer, mate. <laughs> is everything oh, okay? I go get her. Oh, no. <laughs> hey um <laughs> hey Jay, how's how's well, Maddie's training going? <laughs> <laughs> nah, very similar to mine, mate. We're like, yeah, we're two weeks or oh, just over two weeks back into it now, so we're feeling pretty good mm. back in like the the swing of things, but it's good. It's it's just hard the cold. I'm just keen to get out of here. Yeah. And she is as well. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, we understand. We know we know your pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is uh, pretty cold here at the moment. Anyway, boys, um, <laughs> should we wrap it up here? Forty-three minutes, I suppose. Um, have you got the question from Daisy? I do, I do, I do. But before I ask Daisy's question, I want to preface it with a question of my own. Mm-hmm. Lads, <clears throat> iOS or Android? Oh no, I know you. You and your Android, eh? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, I want to hear good things here. Dude, I have n- I I wouldn't even know where to start with an Android. Yeah, and I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, who had one? I don't this, know, fuck. Yeah, this, <laughs> this guy. This guy. It's a. That's like anyone who has an Android is just a red flag for me. Oh, Jay. Yeah. They, <laughs> I'm so glad we're here. They think they're unplugged from the matrix. Uh, like that's what fucks me off. They think they're supporting a local business. They're still a multi-billion-dollar yeah. <laughs> fucking company. You're not any fucking your, better. Your iPhone 32 is the iPhone 15, but Shut bigger. The fuck. Look, I've got an Android here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kicking Bailey. I'm kicking Bailey. Uh, <laughs> you fuckers. It's like, it's like I think. I don't know. Someone had one, and, and you like press the buttons and stuff. It's just like it's so oh, slow. Now that was a Nokia J. <laughs> so, <Dude>. Same <laughs> fucking thing. What's Apple's search engine again? 
Oh, like it matters. You just have an apple. <laughs> you just have an apple phone. Be normal. Thing. Oh, just God. If you can eat an apple, you can't eat an Android. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's um? Okay, now we're shutting it down. <laughs> All right, you bastards. So how we end these now, team, is um last week's guest, which was actually us, but the week before was Daisy McDonald. <laughs> um, ask a question for, for the me. next guest, which is you two. Uh, it's a pretty light-hearted question, and you oh. can. <laughs> you're right, but, Bailey. <laughs> You're yeah. right, mate. She she would like you guys to settle uh, her debate with her partner. Apple Maps or Google Maps and why? Which oh. do you use? I I more so use Google, yeah. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I'm like back and forth because it's like one will have an update and it's sort of like the same and I don't know. It's just whatever comes up to be honest, but more so Google. I feel like yeah. all Maps you should get in there. Take some whack way i don't get it's that it's, why there's more data behind google maps <laughs> and apple maps just sucks who's getting lost in first of all in new zealand who the fuck's getting lost it's like three roads um <laughs> <laughs> i don't it's get it <laughs> Matt, matt's a, uh, an apple maps guy because it's just on my phone yeah. and i click oh. where to go i've never that i've never not arrived where i need to there. be I think I would. Use, I was using Apple Maps. I've always... like, sorry, you go, Bailey. My bad. Just cut him. Just cut him <laughs> off. Bailey. So, yeah. um, I think it was lagging. That's that's an internet issue. <laughs> <laughs> you can go. Oh, now, you, Bailey. Either of you can go. I'm getting yeah, a hotspot can... off an Android. <laughs> 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 Are you gonna go? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I couldn't hear you. I was yeah. using. I was using. Apple like, what? Maps what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Can you stop I, cutting off Jay here? Bailey, I shut the fuck Maddie, up. <laughs> I think Maddie was using Google, and I think uh, once I once I like Apple Maps took me some stupid way, so I was like, written it, downloaded yes. Google Maps. That's what it did yeah. to me too. Where were you going? Like, I'm oh, so just, confused. I've been like, to Mornington. Dude, there, there is one road there. There's one fucking road in Mornington. I don't know. It's so, somewhere. I don't know. I feel they, like they I, were parking I, up at a, a local park at night time. And <laughs> I sometimes just like to chuck on the Apple or Maps just to know like an ETA, you know? Oh, fair enough. If it's like it's traveling somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, I'm done on this map tour. <laughs> That's good. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> so final answer. It's Google Maps and Samsung. I'd like to hear it. It's yeah. beautiful. I'll leave it to uh, It's definitely not uh, Samsung. <laughs> Samsung is just stick to TVs and fridges. Yeah, TVs <laughs> and fridges. That's, that's literally TVs and fridges. 100%. I'd still buy a fucking Apple fridge if there was yeah, one. Yeah, you would. Oh, you would. <laughs> I would do. If there was Apple TV, Apple fridge, I'm buying it. Oh, just I was going to say something rude there. Here for Steve Jobs, you know? Innovator. Yeah. Mm, mm. Still rocking that iPhone six. Uh, new Shut features. Up, new features this year. What did, did you run? You... Sorry, Karen. What? Sorry, you go. No, you go. Are you, are you mid training right now, Bailey? Ah, uh, no. Uh, He's just having a rest. Say, you'd have, to, you'd have <laughs> to warm up again. I'm having a rest day today. Uh, just, just for you, this podcast. Just stick, aren't you? <laughs> it took the whole day. We only need an hour, mate. <laughs> Um, oh, I fucking forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh. I've got Here's it back. Notes. Um, I had no notes for this one. I was so confident that we can have a great chat. Oh. I swear you said you got notes at the start. Of the <laughs> no, he said he was no, going to get we'll some We'll cut notes. that bit. <laughs> we'll cut that bit. It's <laughs> about uh, making me look good. Um, did you, When you were editing, when you were back a, as a content creator, uh, did you use Premiere Pro or Final Cut? DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> <laughs> The free one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> not rich like where you can't think. I ain't fucking... Well, I'm not rich. Well, you just got a new Apple computer. It's fucking Premium sick costs too. like $500 a year, eh? Um, Final Cut's like a one-off payment for 500 bucks a year. And then Adobe Premiere Pro is like a... I think you can buy the year version. I've got the whole suite, baby. 
Yeah, comes with Lightroom and all that shit. <laughs> Jay's yeah. bored as fuck right now. Look, <laughs> no, I was just thinking. I think Toby had that too when he was doing my vlogs, but then he got then he turned big time, so he doesn't do that no more. Oh, cost Toby, money. Yeah, Toby. Toby needs um his own videographer now, eh? He um, does. He's he's on the Yarns Athlete Program. It's going really well. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> How good? What's that? <laughs> it's not. It's not that good. Um, well, soon or something. You get a, a you get a singlet, uh, which you take off in, immediately oh. before the workout. You get one That's of right. those, <laughs> and then you have to give it back, <laughs> and then yeah, you have to return it because we don't have that many. Nice. <laughs> nah, that was pretty cool. Shout out to Tobes wearing my singlet out in the field. Okay. Um, listen, we are rambling here. The 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 camera's over here. Yeah, Grouchy needs to go. He's got to go train. <laughs> yeah, I got to go train, boys. What's no the rest worries. of your day look like, Jay? Large. Large. We'll say that. Bailey. Large. Walking dogs. <laughs> Is that your day, Bailey? That's my day. Do you walk yeah, yourself? Bailey's, you're Bailey's sick. Bailey's sick. He might be back to training next week. I'll probably just, yeah, I'll probably train when I just get to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't worry about it. It's just the games. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rightio, boys. Hey, we'll probably speak to you after the games. Um, We'll get you on. Good luck um, representing Belgium again this year, Bailey. Um, <laughs> do it for the boys, you and Yellow Hosty. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm going to smash that boy. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> uh, no, but best of luck to both of you. Yeah, sweet as lads. Thanks for coming on Thanks for another guys. yarn with, mm. with us. And, uh, no worries. We might get you guys on our podcast <laughs> next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we do cost. Like yeah. yeah. mission based <laughs> well we you know funny thing because we're going to send you the invoice for having us <laughs> <laughs> oh we'll, we'll call it even hey just um <laughs> well i can send you the address for that gear you want to send jay as well because i don't know if you know about bailey sending us gear yeah, yeah. i don't know yeah, that's fine know bro what, let me know what bailey sent you and i'll send you some more. um Go size back. 11 Reebok. he'll probably, yeah. probably send you a truck yeah, <laughs> not that much money. It, it'll go with the jet Bailey sent over, so it'll be, it'll be sweet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, listen, lads, what a great, what a great chat. Yeah, yarn. Sorry, it's a yarn. Yeah, easy. Oh, um, anything you want to add? No, that's us. We're gonna end it there. Beautiful. See you, boys. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Good Welcome. luck, boys. That's see you later. later. All right. Bye. See you, bye. Bye.